What's good YouTube and welcome back to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a local business Facebook ad strategy that all local business owners can use to finally start attracting more clients and start bringing in more revenue for your store. So when I say local businesses, I am mainly referring to brick and mortar stores and stores that can't necessarily benefit off sending their ads to everybody in the world because they're restricted to a location. The types of businesses that can benefit from the strategies are salons, restaurants, any type of business that requires somebody to drive there, get out of their car and come inside to do business with you. So without further ado, let's get into the strategy. So I'm going to show you guys from scratch, from start to finish, how we would set up our Facebook ads for our local businesses using our local business Facebook ad strategy. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is obviously get inside of our ads manager and go to our dashboard and create a campaign. So we're inside of a demo account here. And what you're going to want to do is select the green create button um, in the top left. So after you select create, all of the different campaign objectives will come up. So you have awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, ad promotion, and sales. So a lot of you guys may want to use sales, especially if you're looking for conversions campaigns. But keep in mind, if you guys are going to be doing a conversions campaign, then you need to have your pixel properly installed. Um, I'm not going to be going over how to install a pixel in this video. I have a pixel that goes over that. Um, but what you guys are going to want to do is look at the different types of objectives and actually look at them and see which one would actually benefit your business, which kind of objective are you looking for, which kind of result are you looking for. So if you're looking for awareness, if you want more brand awareness and you want your um, ads to be in front of the most amount of people, awareness may be it for you. Traffic, if you want a lot of link clicks, if you want a lot of people to view your landing page, you may want to do that. If you want more messages, video views, and post engagement, then the engagement objective would be for you. If you're looking to get leads, whether that be on Facebook leads or off Facebook leads, um, at promotion, you would use that. And like I mentioned previously, conversions, um, you would select sales. So let's just do um, sales for the sake of this example. Not sure if I have the pixel set up for this demo account, but let's see. So we're going to select sales and we're going to continue. Now, the first thing that we always want to do before we do anything else is going to be to name our campaign, right? So what do we like to name our campaign? So we want to name our campaign, whatever it is we're doing um, and the type of objective that we're deciding to use, right? So let's say we're doing a, um, for like a restaurant or something, whatever local business, let's say we're doing a 50% off coupon. That's the, that's the ad strategy that we're doing. That's the lead magnet we're doing. Let's say we're giving away a 50% off coupon um, dash conversions. And you guys also may want to date, um, mention the date that you're starting this campaign so you know in terms of testing how many days you have certain things running and stuff like that. So today is um, November 15th, so we can put 11-15. Um, so that's the only thing that we're going to do here on this campaign level is name the campaign. Everything else here, we can leave alone. And now what I want you guys to do on the bottom is select next. Now we are on the ad set level. And again, we're gonna wanna name the ad set level. And what we're gonna wanna name the ad set level is going to be the name of the audience that we're targeting. And since we did not create that yet, we're going to leave this blank for now, just for a second. Um, underneath this, the conversion location. So choose where you want to drive sales. So. For most of you, it's probably going to be a website, but if it's not, then you would select whichever one it is. But if it's your website, then select website. And then underneath that, you're going to select a pixel, right? So select your pixel, 
select the conversion event that you want to um, track. So whether that be purchases or that be leads, add to carts, whatever your event that you want to track is, then you would put that in right there. Um, for daily budget, this is where you um, would put in your budget, how much you're going to spend per ad set, right? So this is the first ad set that we are making, but we are going to be duplicating this and making two different ad sets. So whatever number you put in this ad set, just know you will be spending that twice. So in this ad set is $20. When we duplicate it, that means we'll be spending $20 in two different ad sets per day, which would bring the total amount per day to $40. Dollars. So um, we can leave this at 20 for now. If you guys have a larger budget, you guys can always um, increase that with your initial tests um, and going down to audiences. So for this first audience that we're going to do, we're going to not touch anything under custom audiences. And when we get to locations, what we're going to do is press this edit button right here. We're going to press that. So whatever country you're from will probably automatically be filled in. You want to X out of that. You want to get rid of that. So what you want to now do is here under search location is you want to type in the, the location of the city or the town that your business, that your brick and mortar business is in. So let's say your brick and mortar business is in Jersey City, right? So Jersey City, New Jersey, United States. And right next to it, you see it says plus 25 miles. So what this means is they're going to, anybody who is in Jersey City or in a 25 mile radius of Jersey City is going to see this ad. Now I can change this radius to larger or smaller so I can um, change this from 25 mile radius to 15 or maybe to 10 or I can change it all the way up to a 50 mile radius so for this strategy we like to keep it right at 25 um, we found that it's not too far not too close um, it's just kind of just that nice perfect amount at 25 mile radius um, and underneath locations another cool thing you guys can also look at here is you can target people who are living in or recently in this location. So for this example, we're selecting Jersey City in a 25 mile radius. So this would mean people whose home or most recent location is within the selected area, which would be Jersey City. This option would be people who are strictly living in this location. The next option would be people who are recently in this location. So this would mean anybody who's just passing by, somebody could just be driving through the area. They don't necessarily have to be from there. And the last option is people traveling in this location. So people whose most recent location is within the selected area, but whose home is more than 125 miles away. So these are all of the different pretty cool options you have when you're trying to um, select people um, by the location. Um, and I would definitely select people living in or recently in this location. We have our plus 25 mile radius. We're going to leave the age alone. Um, we're going to leave the genders alone. The, unless you have something that is, unless you know, maybe it's a liquor store or something, something that's clear, oh, well, you can't do alcohol on Facebook. But I mean, something that's clearly has an age range um, then you can modify the age range based off of that and a gender if it's something that's clearly for only women or something that's clearly for only men then you can modify uh, the gender based off of that as well for the detail targeting we're going to leave this absolutely blank for placements we're going to use advantage plus placements um, and that's all we would need to do for right here now remember we have to name this ad set name so Let's go back up here. And since we're doing um, our audience is people in Jersey City plus 25 mile radius. So we're going to name this Jersey City 25 plus mile radius. That is going to be the name of our ad set. And now the next thing that we're going to do, I told you guys that we're going to duplicate this. And now all you have to do um, on the left hand side where it says Jersey City 25 plus mile radius 
Actually, we're not going to get to that yet. We're going to set up the ad level first, and then we're going to duplicate the ad to level. So we only have to do the work one time. So we go to new sales ad on the left hand side. And again, the first thing that we're always going to want to do is name our stuff. So whatever the name of the video you're using is something that you can remember it by. It doesn't have to be anything specific. So I'm just going to say video one. Um, but whatever name you want to use for your ad that can help you recognize it, you're going to select your Facebook page. You're going to select your Instagram account if you want your ads to be ran on Instagram as well. Um, I like to use create ad. You would hit manual upload, single image or video. You can do a carousel or you can do a collection. Um, I would just recommend a single image or video and I recommend using a video. And down here, when we get to the ad creative, so I have a bunch of um, different videos showing you guys how to make Facebook ad creatives, how to write the copy. So I'm not going to be going over it in this video, but this is where you add your video. You would just select your video in here, put your text in here, select your headline. Um, of course, you're going to enter your website URL down here. And then you would be all squared away here. But now let's go back to the ad set level like I was telling you guys and we're going to show you how to duplicate it so we can create our second audience. <clears throat> so we're going to hit the three dots that are all the way to the right hand side on up here all the way in the top left. We're going to hit the three dots and we're going to select quickly duplicate. So now we're in the duplicated ad set and what we're going to do is go down to the audiences so we're going to leave all of the location stuff that's already in here alone. And the only thing that we're going to do is add an interest. So what we, what's going to happen when we add an interest means is the only thing that's going to happen is all the people who are still in Jersey city in a 25 mile radius, they will have to be within that 25 mile radius and also be um, interested in whatever interest you select. So it's not going to be enough that they just are in Jersey City or 25 mile radius. They're also going to have to have an additional interest. So let's just do for an example to show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's do an interest. Let's say the interest is movies, right? Movies. So what this means is they have to be in Jersey City or a 25 mile radius, plus also must be have shown interest in movies or whatever the interest in whatever the interest is that you selected. I just use movies as an example. But what this is going to do is give you a different audience of people that you can test the broad um, just location audience again. So now you're testing two different audiences and you're showing the same ads to both and now you can see which audience is going to work better. And now at the top, we're going to name this so we can leave it Jersey City 25 plus mile radius and we can also put dash movie so we know that we also added the interest, right? So that is it. After you guys do that, you would publish everything and then you would be all good to go guys that's how you do this local business strategy obviously i'm not going to publish this myself this is just an example in a demo account um but you would just publish everything and your ads will be up and running after facebook reviews it and there you have it there is our local business facebook ad strategy it is very simple yet very effective make sure you guys are implementing what you guys learned in this video it's not enough that you just watch the video it's not enough that you just watch the video and take notes you have to watch the video internalize what you are actually watching and actually go execute those things that you learn in order to see results right so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this and i'll see you guys later Peace.